Hello everyone and welcome to my second live stream on the channel uh, American English with Dave. I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, so today's today's uh, live stream is well the same as all of my live streams on this channel. It's it's an opportunity for you to use your English to write in English and to listen in English. So if you have any questions whatsoever, this is your opportunity. Hey, how's it going? Tag the rhino. Is that does that mean like you have to tag the rhino or your name is tag? the rhino is that what is tag the rhino is that a like do you have a i guess is that your youtube channel i don't know i've never heard of it but if you if you're not sure uh what the game because there's a game called tag right i don't know if you guys anyone here know what what tag is tag is a game with that you play when you're children and you you chase each other and you tag someone you touch them and you say tag you're it uh, so the person who's it has to chain he has to chase the other people and whenever you touch someone or tag them then they are it Be bedek yeah i think i think that's the name i think bed i i i don't i think that's what it is i'm not sure I never played tag uh, in, in Poland, so how is mar margarina in English? Margarine? Yeah, margarine. You mean like this, it's like butter? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's margarine. Yeah, tag, you're it. Exactly. All right. So we have how many people on here? A few. All right, good. So what's nice about having these live streams on this channel, since the channel is a little smaller, uh, you have the opportunity to have a relatively intimate English lesson. So this is your opportunity. If you have any questions in English, feel free to ask uh, now, right? Or, or uh, you can just ask any questions for that matter. If you want to write something, you can write something in in English, and I will respond uh, and and correct you if you need help with that. So, yeah. So don't be shy. Write in the comments. I want to see your comments. I love intimate lessons. Uh, is that is that some kind of like joke, Philippe? Is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, do you happen to know? Ho, I am. I'm Skillix. You mean who I am? Who, right? Do you happen to know who I am? I'm Skillix. I mean, I've, I've, you, I've heard your name before. I think you comment a lot. Is that what you're asking about? Oh, how to say Tfadug in English. So that's, first of all, that's not a popular cheese. In America, uh, I don't know about England, but in in the U.S., Americans don't really eat that. But if you want to buy it, you could buy farmer's cheese. Yeah, that's what it is, farmer's cheese. Um, but again, it's not very popular. I'm pretty sure like only Polish people buy it. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about USA? All right, so good question. So what are we what are we missing here, right? What is your favorite thing uh, about what about the USA, right? Remember, whenever we say USA or United States or US, we always say the always. So what's your favorite thing about the USA? Um, I think I don't know if it's my favorite thing, but like. On principle, I like I like the freedom of speech, you know that that you have in this country. Um, I was surprised to hear that in Poland, you can get in trouble for making fun of religion, which is hard to imagine as an American, right? Because in America, you could pretty much say, you know, legally, you could pretty much say whatever you want. Now, obviously, you know, people could get mad about it. But, you know, you could make fun of religion and there's no, that's not illegal. But in Poland, correct me if I'm wrong, 
that is illegal. Or I heard that you're not allowed to make fun of the president in Poland, which to me is just like crazy how, you know, that's that's a weird thing. So um, the, I, the freedom of speech is something that I really value about the U.S. I don't know if that's my favorite thing, but that's one thing I like. How do you say Jadostwo? <laughs> I have no idea. Jadostwo in English? Uh, that is a good question. I don't, I've never thought about that. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. I don't know. So I'm just eating onion with margarine. Okay, cool. So uh, I would say I'm just eating an onion because one, right? An, uh, an means one or a uh means one. So you would say I'm eating an onion or I'm eating onions if it's more than one. So you have to specify. In English, you have to be specific. Is it one or is it many? And if it's and if it's one, you have to say a uh or an. I'm eating an onion with margarine. All right. Like so I imagine that you just have a raw onion and you're like putting margarine on the onion, just like just like eating it like an apple. That's that's how I imagine that situation. Hey Scott, how's it going? Uh let's see here. What is it with starting your sentence, especially the spoken ones with hey or oh? I don't know. You mean me personally? I don't know. That's just how you know people that's how I talk, I guess. Uh, could you tell me how to pronounce either or neither? Yeah, so some people say either, some people say either, some people say neither, some people say neither. Both are correct. Which version is more American and which is used more in the UK? Uh, I don't know. Maybe either and neither is maybe more American. I don't know. But but we definitely say either and neither. I don't I don't know. I've never thought of it as being UK or US. You keep doing it all the time. Yeah, I probably don't realize I'm doing it all the time. I just came across this traffic stop. What does it mean in the US? What does what does that mean in the US? I just came across this traffic stop. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe the police are stopping traffic or something. I'm not really sure. All right. Claudemir says, hi, Dave. Hi. Claudemir, is that... Sounds like from Lord of the Rings. English is fun. Yes. All right. Grandpa Ness. <laughs> Instead of Jadostva. Yeah, I wish it was Grandpa Ness. It's definitely not. Ah, okay. Yeah, Ponyske Jadostva. Yeah, so in that way, crap. Yeah, we'd say like Japanese crap. Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. uh, how to say Harnash in English? I don't know what Harnash is. Isn't that a beer? I don't know what that is. In your opinion, what is the most difficult English word to pronounce? I don't know. I, I, I've never thought about that. I, I don't think of English words as being difficult to pronounce. So I don't know. All right. Cat's better wrote, nice microphone. Sounds kind. I would say sounds nice. Sounds good. But sounds kind, uh, you know, only people can be kind, right? That's not... Things cannot be kind. Kind is like, it's like, you know, a nice, but only for people, right? You could say he's a, he's a nice person, but you can also say he's a kind person, right? But you can't call a thing kind. Everyone needs, everyone need this streams. Okay, so I would say everyone needs this stream, but we don't deserve it. Thanks, Claudemir. I appreciate that. What do I call A in English? Or I don't know what that means. What do I call A in English? I'm not really sure what you're asking here, Wukash. Did you hear that Germans are the largest minority in the U.S.? Um, you mean... 
I mean, I don't know. What do you mean by largest minority? You mean people who have German citizenship? Because if, if that's what you're saying, I don't think that's true. But if you're talking about like that most white people have some German ancestry, that could be true. I mean, Germans were the first immigrants in the United States, right? So when the United States started as a country, it was mostly English people, right? And that's who made the country. And then later, once the United States was already an independent country, the first immigrants were Germans. So that makes sense. I mean, that that's, that's why Americans drink beer. That's why Americans have bratwurst and sauerkraut and frankfurters. It's all, all came from the Germans. Daniel asked, do you have any viewers from other countries? That's a very good question, Daniel. I just checked today. And at the moment, it's the majority of people are people from my other channel. However, I did see that there was a small percentage of viewers from India. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, yeah, I, please write in the comments. If you are, if you're not Polish, I would like to hear from you. If you are not from Poland, uh, I would, I would, I would like to know that. Please let me know. All right. Someone, Bartek wrote, Dave, make more U.S. history films. Uh, thanks, Bartek. We would say make more U.S. history videos, right? Because films are, you know, like two hours long. They're, they're what you would see in the movie theater or in the cinema, right? In America, we say movie theater. And then in England, they say cinema. Although we also sometimes say cinema, but usually we say theater or movie theater. So you would watch a film or a movie in the theater. It's like a professional thing. But what I make are videos. How would you translate it? No more I love yous. So I would say, how would you translate this? No more I love yous. I don't know that I would translate that. I don't know how to translate that. I don't know. Oh, let's see here. Harnash chieftain? Maybe. Like I said, I don't know what a harnash is. So I don't, I don't, maybe. Let's see here. Oh, someone wrote, Harnash is king of the mountains. Huh. Okay. Like in Lord of the Rings or something like that? <laughs> squirrel is hard to pronounce. Yeah, squirrel. Squirrel. I could see that being difficult. Squirrel. Traffic stop. Controla drogova. Maybe. Uh, traffic stop. Well, we don't really have... I, I don't know that we have traffic stops or le legally. I don't know. I don't really know the answer to that, honestly. I don't know why, but you're but when you're speaking in English, we would just say when you're speaking English. When you're speaking English, you sound more seriously. It should be serious. You sound more serious. Okay. I, I guess. German ancestors. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's probably true. Uh, like I said, they were the first immigrants. Type instead of kind is okay if I mean about things. I don't know what that means, Mihao. Uh, no salik. Type instead of kind is okay if I mean about things. Um, I'm sorry, that sentence doesn't make sense, so I don't know how to answer it. Uh, okay. When you start asking a question, you can say in Polish, a, g, is matic. Then you, yeah, you can say a, you'd be like a, or you can say yo. Well, yo is kind of northern, right? Like, yo, yo, where's, uh, where's Jack? Yo. But I think people in the South don't say yo as much as people from like New York or Philadelphia or, you know, Boston. Then they say, yo, where's, where's this, where's Mark? But you can say, hey, hey, where's Mark? You could definitely say a, but it's just spelled differently in English. 
great great Friday night. Hey, what's up, English Angielski? I know, I know you. Uh, maybe I would say have a great Friday night or something like that. Can you speak any other languages apart from English and Polish? Uh, yeah, I speak some Spanish. I mean, very basic Spanish. But yeah, I've been learning Spanish for like four years. But, you know, my I have like Spanish lessons like five days a week. But only for half an hour. So half hours, half an hour a day, five days a week, I, t- I have Spanish lessons. But, you know, still, still I'm very at a very basic level. So, mm-hmm. Could, could you say some English or Polish tongue twisters? Uh, yeah, so as far as English tongue twisters, I guess I could I could try to what are some what are some popular tongue twisters? Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me adjust this. Uh, maybe how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood wood? I, I, I don't think the English tongue twisters are that interesting, honestly, so. Please, could you explain the differences between where, where, and were? All right, so the first two sound the same, where, like where is the bathroom, now where, and then where is like, the second where is to wear clothing. It's pronounced the same way, where and where. Uh, And then the other, the last one is were, like where were you? So it's, the first two are pronounced where, and the second, and the last one is pronounced were. So it's a pretty big difference. Let's see here. What time is it over there, by the way? It's 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 probably pretty late, right? It's like seven or something, eight? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hold on one second. Okay. When you watch U.S. beer history documentary on YouTube. There's some interesting info about German immigrants. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, that's, I'm not surprised. A lot of the, a lot of the beer companies are, have German names, right? Like Budweiser, right? That's, that sounds German or Miller. That's also a German name. There's another company called Yingling, Yingling, right? And that's German as well. My friend is not from Poland. He's from Podlasia. Okay. <laughs> How long are you going to stream today? Wukash asked. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. <sighs> Bartek wrote, Harnash is the best, the best Polish beer. Yeah, very, very funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Uh, Dave, what are your skills in Indian English accent? Please show us some Indian English accent freestyle. <laughs> you know, I uh, just in case there are any in- Indian people watching, I, I better not, right? They might get offended. Do you have a driver's license? So so here's here's an interesting thing. In English, we say, dri- in America, we say driver's license. And then I think in England, they say driving license. But in America, we say driver's license. Bartek, yes, I definitely have a driver's license. I think if you live in the United States and you don't have a driver's license, then that then like that's weird because it's not expensive. It's cheap. It's like, I don't know, like 20 bucks, $20 or something like that to get a driver's license. And it's very easy to pass the test. So if you don't have a driver's license in America, then there's probably something wrong with you. You know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe you're mentally or physically, um, maybe have some problems, uh, or you're just very, very poor. Like you'd have to be homeless maybe to not have a driver's license. So, um, yeah. So asking an American if they have a driver's license would be asking, that would be like asking a Polish person if they drink alcohol. Of course they drink alcohol. They're Polish. And in the same way, of course, every American have, has a driver's license. Okay, so Harnash, I guess, is like a a boss of Zboyuf. What's a what's a Zboy? Zboyuf, Zgur. I don't know. What's a, is that like a gang or something? Uh, 
So Lesh Paul asks, le, he asks if you can say these words in English. Lechich, lechich would be heal, to heal, to heal someone. Vilechich, vilechich, uh, vilechich would be also heal, I would say. I don't think there's a difference. Uh, maybe lechich would be like to treat someone, like a doctor like a doctor would be like treating a patient and then vilechic would be like to heal someone, I think. Uchic would be teach and na uchic would be learn. Or uchic, yeah. Also uchic could be study maybe. Hi, have you ever been in Canada? Is this true that Americans love making fun of Canadians like in South Park? Okay, so have you ever been to Canada? In Canada, you could say in Canada, but I would say to Canada. Have you been to Canada? To Canada? Both are okay. And is this true? I would say is it. Is it true that Americans love making fun of Canadians like in South Park? We would just say South Park without the. No, you know, South Park exaggerates everything. I think uh, South Park is purposely making fun of Canadians because we're so similar, right? That it's, they're trying to make it like we're so different from each other, but when the reality is we're so very similar that, um, that yeah. No, I don't think so. I, I really don't think, I don't think Americans really think about Canadians, honestly. They don't, you know, I, I would say that's kind of like, um, I think maybe comparing Americans and Canadians would kind of be like comparing Poles and Lithuanians, right? So like maybe Lithuanians don't like Polish people, but like I'm pretty sure Polish people don't think about Lithuanians at all. Like do you think about Lithuanians? Like what is your opinion about Lithuanians? You probably you probably don't care about Lithuania or Lithuanians. And that's how Americans are about Canada, but I think some Canadians don't like the U.S. and probably Americans, but you know I don't think they hate us, so that's what I would say. Okay, Hadnash is a kind of Tatara uh, outlaw. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I don't really know if we have a word for that. So, how many books did you sell already? Well, that's a good question. Um, I haven't checked. I think like I think. Last time I checked, I think it was like 1,300. So maybe maybe 1,400? I'm not really sure. I'd have to ask my managers. I really didn't look recently. What are your favorite series uh, and movies? Oh, I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of series. I just watched the show Chernobyl. You guys know Chernobyl? I don't, I don't know how you say that in Polish, like Chernobyl or something like that. So I watched Chernobyl. That's on HBO. That was pretty cool. But that's like a mini series, um, and I like Better Call Saul. Um, I like Walking Dead. Obviously, it's not as good as it used to be, but I still like it. So I don't care. Um, movies? I don't know. Pulp Fiction is probably my favorite movie. Yeah. I lately saw your video made in Lublin. I would say I recently, I recently saw your video made in Lublin. Did you like the old town and the city? Greetings from Lublin. Thank you, Tere Fere Uku or something, whatever that name is. Uh, yeah, Lublin is cool. I did not expect Lublin to be so nice. I thought it was going to be like, some like gross city, like because you know, I don't know, I didn't know anything about Lublin. I thought it was going to be like this ugly old city, and then I went there and I was like, Whoa, this is a really cool place! So I liked it. What does it mean, word cuz? I would say, What does the word cuz mean? What does the word cuz mean? This is shorter form. Because, I would say, is this a shorter form of because? Very often occur in movies. I would say, I hear it all the time in movies. I hear it all the time in movies. Yes. Exactly. We just say because instead of because. Yep, that's all it is. 
right? English is all about shortening, shortening words and making things easier to say. So yes, cuz. Mm -hmm. What is the best way to discover U.S.? All right. So what do we what do we need to fix here? Right? What is the best way to discover the U.S.? Right? Remember, we always say the in front of U.S. or United States or U.S.A. Always we say the. What is the best way to discover the U.S.? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean by that? Are expensive language courses worth the price? Oh, well, I don't know, honestly. Uh, it depends on the course, right? It's hard for me to say because I don't know. If, if it's something specifically that you want to learn, like if it's a course about a specific topic that you know you need help with, then probably. Here's what I would say is, Oh, I see what you're saying. How to combine learning with sightseeing. Do you have an experience in that matter? No, I don't, Bartosz. I, I couldn't tell you. I think that, you know, having one-on-one -on -one English lessons is always helpful. I think that's probably the best way to, I think that's worth the price. But otherwise, I don't know. You mean like traveling to another country and then learning English there. Pro well, I, I'd say it's probably going to be a really good experience, but I really don't know. Your PFP looks really good. What does that mean? What is a PFP? P -p -p -p? Your PFP looks really good. What time is it in the USA? In the, right? So, Katarzyna, what time is it in the USA? Well, it depends what part of the USA, right? We have different time zones. I'm in Florida, and it is uh, just just past two. It's almost two forty p.m., so in the afternoon. Okay, but I don't know what a PFP is. I always thought that Gelda is like very Polish thing, and I was very surprised that Americans invented the stock like a hundred years ago. Okay. I mean, I don't really know how to respond to that. How would you name your accent? I would say, how would you, or what would you call your accent or what kind of accent do you have? I heard there are many accents even in one state. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. It depends. My accent is relatively neutral. Uh, I don't really have like a, you know, I would say that this is like the, the, the average, like, it's just like n pretty normal or, or neutral American English. That's, you know, so it depends, you know, I've lived in the North and I've lived in the South. And so people here in the South you know, they think that I'm from the north, and then people from the north think I'm from the south because I li I've lived in both places. So my accent is kind of, you know, uh, it's hard to say. It's not like any one accent, I guess. Could you make a video about the American Revolutionary War? Yes, I will, Bartek. I will. I will definitely do that. I don't know when, but I will. Oh, okay. It's it's it's. It's uh, it's eight thirty p.m. Okay, because I was looking at well, like twenty twenty five, and I was like, "What does that mean?" Um, right? Yeah, eight eight twenty five. Will you record a video? Right? Someone wrote, "Will you record video about school in U.S.?" So, real quick, we got to put in a couple things. Will you record a video about school in the U.S.? Um, no, probably not. I mean, I don't really know what you would want me to to do. Um, first of all, like you can't really like I can't go to a school, right? Like they won't let me. You know, you know, <laughs> people adults go to school to shoot children. That's what happens in this country. So they won't let me do that. Like they won't let me. <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't want to shoot any children, just to clarify. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that 
they I can't just be like, hey, could I come in here and walk around the school? Like, I don't think they're going to allow me to do that. And then I definitely don't think they'll allow me to record in the school. But also, like, I don't know what you'd want me to say about school. Like, every school is different. Every state is different. Every city is different. And I, you know, I haven't been to school and since I, you know, I'm 36 years old. So what it, what could I tell you about school? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm too old for that, you know. So, um, so probably not. No. Let's see. The Woodchuck Tongue Twister. We did it in high school along with Big Bed Bug. Bit, oh, bit, Big Bed Bug. <laughs> bed Bug. That's gross. A bed bug is like a pluskfa. We have this saying in English where it's like when someone's going to bed, we say, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. That'd be like, nie pozwól, żeby pluskwiczy pogryzły. Like, ugh, gross. What difference in meaning of these sentences? Very funny. Take on me, take me on. I don't know what take on me means. Take me on means like, like, mm, like go against me almost, I think is what I would say. Do you like Star Wars? Yeah, sure. It's all right. Uh, Let's see here. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Okay. When is it better to say really good versus very good? Uh, That's a good question. I've never thought about that. The movie was really good. The movie was very good. The dinner was really good. The dinner was very good. I don't in those examples, both are fine. I, I don't know. I've never thought about that. Okay, someone has a good question here. They wrote dollars equals bucks. But what does buck literally mean? A buck is like a male deer. That's a buck. A buck, I don't know why we say that, but a buck is like, you know, a deer It has horns. It's a male. That's a buck. In Poland, driver's license cost about 1,800 złote, and it's a pretty long journey to get it. Yeah, no, that wouldn't that that wouldn't be possible in America, like because you have to have a car. So, like having a driver's license has to be easily accessible for everyone, or else you just society could not function. Like this country would not be able to exist if if people couldn't drive or if it wasn't really easy for people to drive. All right. Kashtan, hello, how you doing? Lechich cure. La, maybe lechich would be like, like I said, I think it would be um, treat, but maybe cure as well. Okay. Zbuj czy rabuś złodzie. Oh, okay. Thank, thanks for that. Did you try listen Polish rap? So did you, I would say, have you listened to Polish rap? Or have you ever listened to Polish rap? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I'm not like the biggest fan of rap. But yeah, I've listened to rap. Is the word candy, candies, exactly the same as słodycze? I think słodycze would be like sweets. I think candy would be like cukierki. Dominique wrote, well, I do think about Lithuanians. Well, congratulations, Dominique. I'm glad I'm glad you think of it. And so what do you think about Lithuanians then? Okay, Yulia wrote, Yulia Z or... Z, I don't really know what letter that is. Z. Obiad equals lunch. I know lunch isn't main dish, but can I say lunch as obiad? I don't know. 
No, I mean, you, I mean, you could, I guess. It depends what time you eat your obiat and what you eat for it. Like I said, personally, I would say dinner. Like, if I'm eating a bigger meal, I would say dinner. Even if I eat dinner at one o'clock or two o'clock, that's still, and if that's my biggest meal, personally, I'm going to call it dinner, but that's just me. Lithuania was a part of Poland, and sometimes we think about them. Yes, yeah, sometimes, exactly, sometimes. <sighs> Want to say something in Spanish, you're asking me? No, not really. Uh, have you watched Rick and Morty? Yes, yes, I have. I, I like Rick and Morty, yeah. Why do you say 40 hundred rather than 4,000? We don't. We don't say that. Uh, we would say 4,000. See, because here's the thing. You can say 100 whenever there are two zeros, right? One, whenever you have 100, right, like 100, there's one and two zeros. 800, right, there's eight and two zeros. But if I have, let's say, 1,100, that's one, one, and two zeros. That's why we say 11 hundred because there's two zeros. If I have 2300, it's two, three, and two zeros. So because there are two zeros, I can say hundred. 2300, 5700, 9800. But if I have four zeros, then I cannot say 40 hundred. I would say 4,000 because there's three zeros and not two zeros. If you watched Better Call Saul, then you should watch Breaking Bad too. Yeah, I saw Breaking Bad too. yeah. Yeah, of course, I've seen that. <clears throat> Will you ever come back to Lublin? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't have any plans. Why do you ask? All right. <laughs> if you could have a cat with a, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> with a dog personality or a dog with a cat personality, what would you choose? I don't know. <clears throat> Neither. I don't really like dog personalities. So, and I don't like dog, like dogs are smelly. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like dogs just smell disgusting. And they're like way too needy. So I just wouldn't want any of that. Where did you study history? I studied history uh, in USF, University of South Florida. I love your shirt. Thanks, Malgorzata. I appreciate it. Oh, PFP, profile picture, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Damian. What is your favorite Asian country? What? <laughs> Uh, why would I have a favorite Asian country? I've never been to Asia. I don't have a favorite a Asian country. Uh, yeah. Do you know bald and bankrupt? Oh, I've heard about them. It's a, it's a thing, yeah. Um, personally, no. I've never watched it, but I've heard of them. There's a big delay on this stream. Yeah, that's normal. There's a big delay, but I'm also reading all the comments from the beginning, so you have to be patient. I can't, you know. There's number one, there is a delay. Number two, I I'm reading all the all the uh, comments in order, so it's going to be a while before I get to the new comments. So just be aware of that. I'm I'm still at the you know towards the beginning. I think. Have you heard about Kiss Band? I would say, have you heard about the band Kiss? Are they popular and famous in the U.S.? Or they are just old grandfathers? <laughs> or are they just old grandfathers from the 80s? <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so, yeah, I mean, people definitely know who Kiss is. But I, yeah, I mean, it is kind of older music for sure. I don't know about grandfathers, but... But yeah, I mean, people know Kiss, but I personally can't think of any of their songs right now. So maybe they're not they're not very relevant, I, I guess I would say. How would you pronounce this? I saw 
Oh. I saw or I saw what? No, no, definitely would not be an L. I saw. There's no L. There's no L. It's not sol. No, saw. I saw. D. Why is everyone asking about guns? No, I don't own a gun. My mom. Oh my God. Wu Castro. My mom said you lost weight when I was watching the video about the Civil War. Of course your mom said that. I feel like that's the obligation of every Polish woman to talk about people's weight. That is that is required by law. All Polish women have to talk about your weight. That is that is just that's that's the way it is. That's just normal in Poland. What are you currently doing professionally? Are you a teacher? Yeah, I have a you I'm a YouTuber. That's what I do professionally. I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I'm a I'm a I mean I teach. Uh, I'm a, I guess you could say edutainment. What do you think about Polish history? That's a good question, Mateusz. I, I, you know, I'd, I'd like to know more about Polish history. I know very basic things about Polish history just because Polish people always talk about Polish history. So, uh, I know about Polish history that way, but I've never really formally learned about Polish history, maybe a little bit here and there, like, um, but I actually would like to read a book, like, if someone has any suggestions for a Polish history book that I could read, preferably in English, please let me know, you can write in the comments, and I I would like to buy a Polish history book, Uh, I'd like to read it, I do love history, so... Do you know any of Metallica songs? I would say, do you know any of Metallica's songs, or do you know any Metallica songs? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Like, I'm not a hu- I'm not a huge fan of Metallica, but yeah, I know some of their songs. Sure. Uh, what do you think about learning English through Duolingo app apps? Um. I don't know. I've never learned English through Duolingo. I did do some Spanish lessons through Duolingo. And I think um I think it's good if I think it's good if you are if you want to learn vocabulary. But it but you but as far as teaching grammar, you can't really learn grammar very easily through Duolingo. That's what I think. Why is there so many shootings in U.S. schools? I would say, why are there many, so many shootings in U.S. schools? I know that buying a gun is super easy, but you must be fucked up in the head to shoot random people. Yes. Americans are fucked up in the head. So, yeah, that makes sense. Imagine not being allowed to shoot up a school. Damn, I thought it was America. <laughs> Very funny, Voldan. What's up, Genshi? You, you really like that, huh? Non-person. I, I feel like you write that every time you're on here. Uh, did you know that the U.S. changed its flag many times? They were just adding a star when new states had joined the Union. Yeah, of course. That's that's what the stars represent. So if you don't know what the flag represents, the the stripes are for the 13 original colonies, and then the stars are the orig- uh, the current states. So that's why, yeah, absolutely. They just add a star every time. Is it true that most, most of the Americans, I would say, is it true that most Americans hate British accent, hate the British accent, and make fun of the Russian accent. Um, well, yeah, I think for sure people make fun of the Russian accent because when we imagine Russians, we think of them as being like James Bond villains. Like, that's what we think of. We think of them as being, like, evil. So, yeah, anytime there's, like, a character who's supposed to be evil, we, we give them a Russian accent, and and it makes them sound even more evil. Um but I don't think Americans hate the British accent. I think traditionally Americans have really liked the British accent, and they think that the British accent is like 
really smart or like sexy. Um, but I think recently, I think people are starting to hear what real British people sound like. Because most of the time when we hear British accents, it's like in American movies and they pick the really nice accents. But but now I think Americans are hearing what real, uh, no, excuse me, let me just fix this. Now we're hearing, now we're hearing what real English people sound like. And you know, they say stuff like, instead of saying bottle of water, they'll be like, bottle water. And so, yeah, we think that's pretty funny and, and it sounds pretty bad, honestly, so yeah. Słodycze equals fudge. No, fudge is like, like a like a krówka would be a fudge. That's kind of like a that's kind of like a fudge candy. Is is a krówka? That's fudge. Do you want to visit Korea? If yes, which one? <laughs> Very funny. Um, no, I don't particularly want to visit either Korea, honestly. But I mean, I definitely would not want to visit North Korea. What's up with your chicken? Did you eat it? Very funny. <laughs> uh, no. I, well, you talking about the cat or the chicken? Because I did eat the chicken. I obviously did not eat the cat. Who's a goody two-shoes? You're asking me what does goody two-shoes mean? Is that what you're asking? A goody two-shoes is kind of an older saying. Um, I don't think people use it as much anymore. But it means like uh, someone who's really who never does anything bad. Um, kind of like that they're like, ooh, you can't do that. That's that's kind of a goody two-shoes, yeah. Do you think that Florida? Do you think the Florida or do you think that? It's supposed to be, do you think that Florida is like Podlasheb in the US? No, no, there's much, much worse places uh, in, in the US. I'm not sure what I don't think I can compare Florida to anywhere in 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 Poland. The thing about Florida is that it has the third largest population of any state, right? The biggest states in the United States are uh, I think it's California, Texas, and then Florida. So we have a lot of people here, and I think that's why there there's you know you hear so much about Florida is because. We have a very large population, and it's a population from all over the world. All right. Hello, sir. Have a blessed day watching from United Arab Emirates. All right. Thank you. Are, are you, where, and where are you from, Rose? Are you, uh, what do you call someone from the United Arab Emirates? An emirate? Are you an emirate? Dave, why are you so handsome? Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. How did you learn Spanish? I I started by taking lessons. I went to class, and I started that way, and then I started having private lessons. So, does anyone have a good oatmeal recipe for me, please? Greetings from the Netherlands. Are you serious, Jill or Helle? Gobers, oh, you sound. Are you? Are you like? I guess you're from the Netherlands. You're nether. You're Dutch. I'm assuming. Uh, an oatmeal recipe, huh? Um, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, like what you would put in it? Is that what you're saying? Um, I I really couldn't help you with that. I, I'm not. A, I've. Do people eat a lot of oatmeal in the Netherlands? <laughs> the best <laughs> Bartek wrote the best Polish history culture book. Tajes bardzo polskie. Very funny. Thank you, Bartek. I appreciate. That. I'm glad you liked it. I know that tea isn't very popular in the U.S. and it's probably because the Americans sinked, sinked, uh, maybe sank, sank the British ships with tea right before the Independence War. The war, the, the yeah, the war for independence. That could be. San Andreas or Vice City? Definitely San Andreas. My girlfriend and I are watching this live stream together. What a good way to spend your free time. Haha. <laughs> well, thanks, Wukash. Is this like, 
instead of Netflix and chill, it's like, you know, I don't know, American English with Dave and chill. Like, are you guys making love to my voice? Is that what you're doing, you sickos? Why is that? Like, is my voice turning both of you on? Is that what's happening here? That's pretty weird, but okay. If that's what you're into, hey, you know, everyone likes different things. I recommend you YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. This is what a lot of people say in English. is Because in a lot of languages, in Spanish and Polish, you say you. Like, uh, in Polish, you'd say polecam ci, right? Or ci polecam, I think. But in English, we don't say that. You'd say to polecam. So I would say, or something like that. I would say, I recommend the YouTube channel, Historia Bez Censure. He really well explains the Polish history. Okay, I would say he explains Polish history really well. That's what I would say. Thank you. I'll check that out. Um, I highly recommend reading Historia Bez Censure. Okay. Is that is that a good book? Is that like a history book or what is that? Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out, I think, if I have... I'd like to. Uh, let's see. Is... Flu okay. So real quick, someone wrote here, is the Florida the warmest place in the USA right now? Okay. So very good. The warmest place in the USA. That's perfect. But we don't say the Florida. We just say Florida because it's not right? The United States. It's many states, and that's why we say the United States. But for Florida, we don't say that. So is Florida the warmest place in the USA right now? Yeah, pr other than Hawaii. I think Hawaii is probably warmer. But like other than that, I think Florida is. It's like 27 degrees here right now. Dave, can you make a video how to pronounce R in English correctly? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good idea. R, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll have to do that. I just came by to say I love you. Thank you very much. Uh, Trinity 3000. Do you know some funny? Okay. So I would say American jokes. Do you know some funny American jokes? Like doctor and medical jokes. I went to the doctor the other day and said... Have you got anything for wind? So he gave me a kite. <laughs> Is it funny? Um, it's maybe it's funny because it's so stupid. Um, but now I've never heard that joke. Yeah. Rose, hey, okay, good. Uh, Rose, she says I'm from the Philippines, sir, but I'm O F W. What is that? Uh, here in Dubai. Uh, a, a, a small YouTuber? I subscribed you, sir. Do you want to subscribe to me too, sir? Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'll check, I'll check out the, uh, I'll check out the vlog, Rose. Have you watched Posidos Krilled? Uh, no, I don't know. North Korea is a fun place to visit. It's not like you will be sent to a re-education camp or something. Well, I don't know. That one kid was, like, killed, that one American kid. So I'd rather not risk it, you know? I'd rather not. How American people who can't say letter R pronounce words include... Okay. How do American people who can't pronounce... Who can't say... How do American people who can't say the letter R pronounce words with the letter R. Um, I don't think that is a problem in America. Like, you're thinking of like R, right? So some people can't roll their R's, like R, right? But we don't do that. So I don't think people have that problem. Like maybe children, but I've never, I've never met an adult that can't pronounce R in America. In Poland, I have, but I don't think that's a problem in, in the U.S. Because our R's are, like, easier to pronounce. All right. I 
I know I should speak in spoken language. I don't know what spoken language is. For instance, it's the coffee, etc. But sometimes I speak, I sometimes I say it is the coffee. Uh, oh, I see. I think about shortcuts in spoken English. I'm thinking about, okay. Uh, is it a big mistake? It's not a big mistake. It's just that, you know, it's much more normal to say it's, right? So if you say it is, that sounds like, I mean, it sounds like you're someone who learned English, that English is not your first language, which, you know, that's true. That is that is true about you, right? So I don't think it's terrible, but um, but yeah, it's better to say it's. Do you understand non-rhotic English accent 100%? What is non-rhotic? I don't know what that means. Is Death Valley not warmer, wor warmer than Florida or Hawaii? Okay. Okay, so you wrote warmer like a worm. A worm is like a bug, so it's warm with an A. Death, is Death Valley warmer, it's an A, warmer, than Florida or Hawaii? Um, sure, probably the desert is warmer during the day, probably, yeah, that's true. Uh, but at night, it's probably very cold. So that's a good point. I think you're right, Cloud Damir. I recommend you... Ah, okay, here's another example, right? Instead of saying, I recommend you, we never say, I recommend you. We say, I recommend, and then the thing you recommend. You don't have to say you. It's weird. I would say, I recommend the alternate history series called The Man in the High Castle. It tells a story of German-occupied East Coast and Japanese-occupied West Coast by the way, in this universe, the loss, the U.S. lost World War II. Okay, that sounds cool. Is it? Uh, yeah, if you say it's good, I'll, maybe I'll check it out. What do you call <laughs> Magic Yogurt? Says, what do you call the security outside of a Samsung store? Guardians of the Galaxy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is the word pecker? as in woodpecker, offensive. What does it literally mean? So, so no, you would say woodpecker. Like, you wouldn't just say pecker, right? You would say woodpecker. A pecker without the word wood is like how we say penis. So pecker is, you know, I don't know if it's a, it's not the worst word, but yeah, I mean, it's not a nice, it's not a nice thing to say. Have you ever met a famous American celebrity? No, I live in Florida, not California. Have you watched BBC's Sherlock? No. No, no, no. Uh, all right. Have you ever watched a Korean movie or TV series? I think I did see one Korean movie. Uh, it's like about a phone call or something like that. When it comes to jokes, I don't understand such a joke. A man walks into a bar with a roll of tarmac under his arm and says, pint, please, and one for the road. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Um, so a man walks into a bar with a roll road of tarmac. I think, I don't know if we use that word in America, but a tarmac, I think, is... A, like the ground it's it's a it's a oh sorry it's a road it's like the ground that's tarmac um under his arm and he orders a pint he says pint please which is a, a beer and one for the road so when we say one for the road it means like let me have a beer that i can drink when i'm you know or like right before i leave but here he's saying literally one for the road that he brought with him. The people who can't say the letter R are the same ones who don't have a driver's license. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
Can you explain in more detail the difference between must and have to? Yeah, just never say must. Don't say that. Just don't, don't, like, that's it. That's what I would say. Don't say must. That sounds weird. That's not normal. Just say have to. That's, that's my explanation. Don't say must. Uh, hi, I'm a big fan. Cool. Thank you. Okay, Jan Flores. I just clicked a random live stream, and now I'm here. Where Where are you from, uh, Jan Flores? Have you ever watched Eurovision? No. No, I have not. So what is this about? It's just a live stream. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a live stream where I'm speaking English, and people could practice their. English listening skills, and if you have any questions, you can ask about English, or you can just write, ask any questions. I don't like history, but when you were telling it, it was pretty interesting. Well, thank you, Ukash. Do you, do you like pierogi? Of course. Who doesn't like pierogi, right? Have you watched Prison Break? Um, I did watch a lot of it. Not all of it, though, yeah. What is the lesson for today, sir? You know what? Honestly, I, it, <laughs> I don't have any one topic. Uh, I would just say, you know, today's more of just a listening exercise. So uh, that's pretty. If you have questions, you can ask. So have you ever been to Alaska? No. All right, guys. Uh, and yes, if you know Spanish, my name literally means flower. Yes, I know. Yes, I do. F Flores. I'm from the Philippines. Oh, okay, cool. All right, guys, I am going to have to finish up here. I mean, okay, I mean, could say must in case like he must have been. Oh, okay. Well, that's true. He must have been or do you or or you must be a doctor. Yeah, that's true. You could say that. Guys, I have it's time for me to finish up. You know, we've been on here for over an hour. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Zagosh wrote, this live stream is no longer intimate. It's still, uh, it's 100 people. That's still pretty small. So, hey, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, oh, I know, coolest min minion. I, I apologize. I know you just joined. But, you know, you could check out my videos. I ha Where am I from? I'm from the U.S. I live in Florida. Uh, originally I'm from, I mean, I was born in Poland, so I'm originally from Poland. My parents are Polish, but I grew up in the U.S. So guys, thank you for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I know I only have a few videos at the moment, but I'm going to have more videos in the future. So, um, send me, send me an email, send me a message. Um, let me know, do you have a degree in speech? If not, do you have another type of degree? I do not have a degree in speech. I have a degree and a bachelor's degree in history. And I also have a master's of business. Uh, I have an MBA, right? So I have that, but I also have a lot of experience teaching English to, to non native speakers. So guys, thank you for being here. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. And I will see you around. Bye.